Now we are going to discuss about the planetesimal hypothesis. Planetesimal hypothesis is a dualistic, dualistic concept put forward by Chamberlain and who was a geologist and forestry molten who was an astronomer in 1905. Assumptions. What were the assumptions? In this theory, two heavenly bodies were involved. There is protosun and intruding star. Protosun was solid, cold, circular in shape. Intruding stars came close to the protosun. This is the protosun intruding star. It is coming close to that because of the tidal force is acting. That's because of the gra because of the tidal force, the gravitational pull is increasing. So from the protosun, so many materials are getting detached from the protosun. So these detached particles are called planetesimals. Large planetesimals became a nuclei. They became a nuclei of planets because it's attracting other some dust particles which were detached from the protosun. Remaining central part became sun. So the remaining part remained as sun. The remaining part remained as sun. And the remaining central part became sun. Satellites formed through from this planets. Again, same through this repetition of this process, planets also were formed. Evolution of the theory. This theory also explains about the evolution of the earth. Evolution of the Earth, how Chamberlain explained about the evolution of the Earth with this help of this theory. First stage, acquiring present shape of the Earth. So, how the because of the detachment of planetesimals, because of the detachment of planetesimals, the Earth were formed. Planetesimals becomes the uh, planetesimals. These planetesimals aggregate and forms planet Earth. Planet Earth and second stage the period of dominant volcanic activity. So this Earth is formed and the Earth, the continent, the continent, continent and oceans are formed. The wherever the oceans uh, volcanic activity had happened, the huge landforms are developing. So along with that formation of continents and oceans are happening. So the low lying area becomes the ocean, the higher land becomes the continents. But prior to that atmosphere atmosphere is getting evolved. So evolution of atmosphere happens from the external and internal force, whatever the dust remained outside externally, they also helped and as well as during the volcanic eruption, whatever the uh, chemical during uh, chemical process during the internal chemical processes which uh, emitted a lot of gases outside to the atmosphere and they formed the atmosphere later on the whatever water vapor was there in the atmosphere they cooled down and they formed they came uh, they came as a rain and they filled the low lying activity and they became the ocean and the third stage the period of formation of falls falls and mountains the other landforms of the earth were formed in the third stage the like of uh, falls falls mountain submergence and emergence were taking place during this process during the third stage so many landforms like plateaus mountains plains and are formed during this process so what were the evaluation of this theory possibility of condensation to form the orbits how it is possible uh, po possible how he didn't explain about the possibility of the condensation to form the orbits and arrangement of planets and different sizes because the planet in the middle part it is large in the uh, at the edge it's thin uh, small so the, the and how it is arranged and why only nine planets why gaseous state of outer planets and not uh, on the inner state of terrestrial planets the uh, solid planets like terrestrial planets this he didn't explain about this and higher amount of angular moment of, of planets also not explained most of the theory has did not explain about the higher angular momentum of these planets the only theory which explained uh, the first theory which explained uh, which to explain about the angular momentum is the binary star hypothesis thank you